If you thought the desert could not feed you lunch, think again. Arava is not just a desert. Arava is hot, dry and inhospitable. One of the most forbidding areas on the planet Earth. Although the area is a desert, it is far from being empty and desolate. Almost every visitor who arrives in Arava asks himself, who are these crazy people that have built their lives in the middle of the desert? Use of highly computerized drip irrigation system to make sure that there is effective use of every drop of water that is available and uh, you remember I said there is scarcity of water and so to make sure that uh, the, 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 there is thriving in agriculture there is need to make use of uh, the riches. High-tech agriculture, technological hot houses, computerized parking houses, experiments, innovative developments, climate control and water desalinization are the name of the game in the 21st century. I'm from Nigeria. I'm an MSc student of Tel Aviv University in collaboration with ICAT Israel. And um, it's been an amazing experience. And so far, so good from my experience in Israel has been so good. I came last year, October, and since then I've been. It's from one experience to the other, and it's purely an, an improved agricultural program in such a way that we, you get to learn about the advanced technology we use in agriculture and, and how Israel agriculture is being propagated. And um, it's a good, huge honor for me. It's a privilege because um, I can always gather up information from here and then go back to my country, then improve on my agricultural sector in my country. Mm. All the farms in Israel's Arava region are meticulously monitored for cleanliness, ecology, garbage collection and pest control. Israeli's agriculture is the success story of the long hard struggle against adverse land climate conditions. Over half of the Israeli's solar and soil is arid or semi-arid and the Israeli's natural water supply is below the UN definition of water poverty. Is, is the amazing uh, way that Israel has taken up technology. Technology to assess every aspect of the plant life. Even so, since Israel's establishment in 1948, the country has almost tripled the territories used for farming and production has multiplied 16 times. Today Israel manages to produce 95% of its own food requirements. They're thinking out of the box. That's why they can uh, they can create so many things that the other farmer what they do in my country. And um, one more thing from Israel is like uh, uh, they always creating the idea uh, we know every day they creating, every day they get a new idea. Livestock farming is interesting. It's working in Israel, it's working in Arava. Uh, up to this point, I'm really convinced, I'm really convinced beyond any doubts. And I will definitely say that agriculture is possible everywhere. It's possible in every corner of the world.
So Israeli's agricultural success is attributed to the close cooperation between farmers, Israeli agro-industries and technological research. Water shortage in Israel is alleviated through extensive water reuse. That is, 86% of water in Israel is reused. Currently in Israel for an internship program and uh, the journey has been amazing so far. We came here last year in June and up to now it's about six months and uh, the learning experience has been uh, awesome. What I mean is uh, we have had a chance to learn practical skills in the farm, doing end-to-end uh, -end work in the farm and getting to know what it really takes to get the production of uh, agricultural products from the ground up to the market level. Uh, what I can say is uh, in my country we have a lot of uh, youths uh, who are unemployed, not because uh, there are no jobs but because uh, we have limited opportunities in, uh, where the youths can venture in. So what I can say is agriculture is something that is evolving every time and if the youths venture into agricultural opportunities we can have a food security in our country, we can have an economic, economic growth especially for every homestead and uh, every person can be able to finance themselves because of agricultural production. Uh, Israel is amazing. ICAT has given us this opportunity to be here and to study and uh, all the credits and uh, uh, gratitude goes back to ICAT because they are the ones who have made us here to be, to be here and uh, to, be able to be able to learn from the Benjamin country. Franklin once said, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember, but involve me and I learn. Education institutions such as the Arava International Center for Agricultural Training came up with a program that enrolls over 1,000 students every year for diploma from all over the world. Here, learning is by doing and direct involvement in all farm operations.